Live from the edge of Xanth, where style passes between the realms of Phase and Proton, Piers Anthony says it's gonna be a great night. Now, here are your versions of Norton, the incarnation of time, and Zane, the incarnation of death, Brian Brushwood, and Justin Robert Young! Oh my God! What a deep cut. <laughs> you do realize, like my uh, my first uh, login was Chronos based on Norton. Yeah. Wow. Norton. All right. But you realize my first login was Chili Bacon. <laughs> All right. I like chili and I like bacon. Justin, I got a question. What's up, dog? Which of us has the looser hips? Also, this is great radio. Great do, audio. Do, do you measure? Do you measure by right. repetition <laughs> or fluctuation? Oh, because I can go tight, dog. Look at that. That's a tight one. That is, or then or, I go or, loose. Or do you do style? We're loose it. Oh. Well, style. We're loose. We should, it. we should have the hip Olympics. All hip, right. The uh, Bryce, uh, Bryce, you 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 decide. Uh, all right. Uh, the, last last round. Show me your best hip thrust. Go. Wait, thrust? Or thrust? Are we doing loops or thrust? Uh, okay, then do a loop. Uh, give You're me doing your, loops. Justin, Wait, give me together? your best loop. One loop. You got Wait. one loop. Justin, you're up first. Okay. Give me the loop. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go loop. Oh, interesting. Very heavy on the back. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. One. All we're right. just looking for one. All right. All right. All right. Brian. Yep. All right. We're looking for your. Okay. Oh, interesting. A kind of shallow. A little more shallow. Shallow. But, but rotating a little bit more. Uh, All right. Well. I'm in the shallow. Let's go back to Pierce Anthony. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, Bryce. No, forget about no, that. Uh, we, don't, we, don't, we don't need to pick it a is winner. January. What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> the hips are know. tight. <laughs> Turns out the hips don't lie. <laughs> Hello. It was Justin. He was. He, he had what more range of motion. Explanation. I, I was trying to get away from it. You were oh, trying to get away from it. Sorry. Back to this. No. Back no. This. Now you're back in it. Now wow. you're doing it again. Okay. All right. You uh, you picked a fight with me about hip <laughs> uh, about hip rotation. No, I, I, then I, I, you I demanded wanted... there to be a judge. No, it's it's it's, 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 it's <laughs> the higher you say no, the more it definitely <laughs> happens. <laughs> Bryce, I, what can we talk about? Yeah, I totally had a whole thing. You did. Uh, we're ready for. Uh, I believe it was Zan. Heaton's mm. magical New Year's Eve. Let's go ahead and get Andrew Heaton Ooh, up here. Everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us on stage, Mr. Andrew Heaton. Yay! Grab that mic. Hey. Hello. Uh, it's good to meet you good for the first you. time good ever. To good to see you, um, Andrew Heaton. Boy, oh boy. Uh, I got a phone call right before New Year's Eve. Andrew Heaton was like, yo, what up? I have so much planned. I'm so excited. I'm gonna live forever. It's me, Andrew Heaton. I love the weather. Okay. Let's okay. let's actually even go a little bit before that. Uh, I think since we last talked, I, I don't know if, if this is public knowledge here on Great Night, but but you had a, a bit of the COVID. That's yeah, true. I survived. My doctor said it's because I'm so virile. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 what talk, would you talk compare in terms of actual damage to your physical and mental well-being? COVID. Or having the responsibility to not see other humans for uh, four to five days. Given that it was not even a cold, like a ceremonial cold. It was yeah. like a ceremonial cold. It blew a trumpet. I, I am basically a Labrador <laughs> retriever in tweed. So I would say like 98% I don't get to see other people on Christmas. Yeah. And 2% I've got the sniffles. Yeah. Right. Uh so uh, uh, you get through Christmas. You do wind up going to visit your yeah, your, your I, folks. I, up I went up. I, I went up for whatever's after Boxing Day, Saint uh, Saint Crispin's Day, Saint so. Swiffin's Day, yeah, Saint Swiffin's Day. <laughs> yeah, good old Saint Swiffin's Day. Uh, <laughs> we're we're just gonna skip over the whole part where Christmas Eve I leave my family and invite you to come out I, and we what? hang out I, for the evening. Cr Christmas we're, we're Eve. Gonna... I was right out there with Brian and we yes. smoked a cigar. And it was a very nice moment and. Yes. I also texted you at one point. I think you would, you'd already flown to Ohio. Yes. And I was like, can you go to the grocery store to get me some? So not only did, did yes. Bonnie bring me no, the stuff you, that I you, had. You immediately the, followed up. The following up. day, she came to give me actual food because it was just like. Just I, 
the real just clear terms on Christmas Eve, I abandoned my family to hang out with you and you followed up with, could you get me some stuff? Uh huh. And my wife did. Yep, okay. Yep, All right. Yep. Well, well, he was okay. sick. To get to get yeah the, to he get was the, he was to dying. Get the chronology here. I made no requests of you on Christmas Day. I did not make any requests of you on Christmas Day. No. Or on Christmas Eve. What happened was a couple of days before Christmas Eve, I requested a can of baked beans and corned beef hash. And your lovely wife was like, "That's pathetic. I'm going to bring him real food." And then right. He brought me real food on Christmas Eve. Right. And then I saw you that evening. Because okay. Because Bonnie's a saint. He is a saint. She is saint. She yeah. is. She is. I was, was, was going to be eating beans out of a out of a can oh. with an old rusty spoon, no. just crying and, and watching pull, Jimmy pulling, Stewart. Pulling not it even out Christmas of, Jimmy Stewart, just random Jimmy Stewart. Pulling it out of your bin. That that, that yeah, plane's right. trying to kill him in the cornfield. Just just a, an American <laughs> Tale too. Yeah. <laughs> random <laughs> Jimmy Stewart. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'm trying yeah. to think of the most hostile way I could deliver like a can of beans, burp. like 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 I'm smashing it through your window. I think what you do is you you say like here like uh, here's a can you just leave a can of beans and a hammer you're like go to town <laughs> <laughs> and a nine millimeter yeah. there right. you go shoot that open <laughs> so uh, uh, you are in a, a, a robust uh, uh, happy feelings after returning from uh, your your seeing your parents in Oklahoma and uh, it's the day before New Year's yep. Eve yep so what kind of Happy, excited thoughts are popping oh. through the head of Andrew. I, Heaton. I was I was at a sculpture garden on a date. Thank you, thank you. Was and, that Umlauf? Uh, no, it was the it was the it's, the good one. Whatever the contemporary is, their their sculpture garden. Okay, it was really cool. It's good. But then, like at eight p.m., the young lady I'm with is like, "What are you doing for New Year's Eve tomorrow?" And I was like, "That's not tomorrow," because clearly I would know. And yeah, I like, no, it's tomorrow. And I went, "Oh." Shoot, I don't know. And I texted a couple of people that I'd previously been to parties with here in Austin, like two years ago, three years ago. And they were like, oh, no, we're just going to, you know, we're just married. We're just going to stay in. Yeah. And I went home and I went, I missed the bus. I missed the bus. And like, and I was like, I have no plan. I literally was like, well, I live across from the strip club, the flashpole or whatever the hell it's called. I guess I'll go there and be the sad called the Red guy. Rose. And, uh, it's the Red Rose. I don't want to know where I live. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dox him. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so no, I, I thought like as of Thursday night, I was like, I guess I'm going to be the sad. Let's delve into that. Guy. Let's delve into that. Because there are friends for which I have that every once in a while, periodically, you're out you're having a few drinks. Let's go to the strip club. That's just a thing that happened. Yeah. You are not one of those not, friends. I don't like strip clubs. So I've been, I've been, to, so, I've been tw twice and I didn't like either. So you, seriously, because first, when you said this to me, I thought you were joking. You have since said it in serious yeah. tones. Yeah. So you would go there to like haunt it? Yeah. No. I, 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 was, I was like, I guess this, this is my role now. Like in the same sense that a ghost goes to a graveyard, looks for its tombstone. I'm like, I guess this, if all of my married friends are going to sleep at some So, so you were like, you were like, in, in, in all fairness, like he's very, very close to the strip club. Like, oh, like, no, like, it's, like, very, also, close. it's very, very close. It's very easy It's very close. Yeah, it's very true. close. Again, you really want to dox him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you uh, wanted to murder me, <laughs> you can just rewind this to what he said a minute ago and then come find me. Uh, so, like, in my mind, you're like, well, alone on New Year's Eve, I guess I'll just go to the strip club. And then <laughs> if that happens for the next two years, it's three strikes and I'm out. Like <laughs> pretty much. He goes news shopping. Yeah, yeah. That's about where I was at. Yeah. Okay. So that, that is, that is where your, your mood is at. Yes. What happens the next day? Actually uh, New Year's Eve. The, the next day I get a message from you mm -hmm. and from your wife that, that you're having a party and I'm like, great. Oh good. This is, I, I, I would enjoy hanging out with you. Pause. Why did you wait until the day of to invite him to your party? I wanted to see if cooler people were going to come. That's I, fine. No, uh, A, I'm very, very bad about uh, inviting people to the parties because uh, my wife normally sets them up. That's all I needed to hear. Okay. Go on. I'm bad about it. Uh, well, and on, on that end, I could have texted Justin, too. So it's like, you know, because I, I, I only texted a couple of people. What are you up to? Right. So yeah. like, that's that's on me, too. Um, uh, yeah, I, 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 I first hear from Justin that he's going to do that. I hear from you because we're going to go have lunch. And you're like, also, you're going to Fang and Feather. And I was like, yeah, I'll go to Fang and Feather. And now I've got Justin's party as well. We end up meeting David McRaney, who's a really nice guy. Right. We had from lunch with You Are Not yeah. So Smart. You're not podcast. so smart. Very nice guy. And, and he's then, like, you're the guy who lives across from the strip club, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I saw you at the Horny Toad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, and, and so we have lunch and then, uh, I go to, uh, to, to Fang and Feather yep. and, and hang out and have a good time. And then I was like, what do you, what are you, are you going to Justin's party after this? And you're like, no. And, I'm like, and, and what's funny is like, you ask that and I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm going to bed in 39 minutes, but we are going to play but, D&D. Yeah, yeah you, but I am going to play D&D with my family. And I was like, can I, like, I know I'm not, I'm not technically a brushwood, but for like mortgage purposes and credit, I keep listing myself. So like, <laughs> yeah. I go ahead and like sneak in and you were like, and it was a, bla I was a blast. It so, was wonderful. What was it like from the outside coming in to do a D and D party with a, uh, what a nine year old, a 14 year old, a 17 year old and me and Bonnie. Uh, it, first of all, it was super fun. Um, so, so, uh, your, your eldest explains at one point, it's not, it's not strictly speaking D and D. It's a slightly watered down version. She explains like the a, rules, and I'm uh, like, uh, "So it's improv with dice. I can do this, right?" This is a, great, a right? variant but, of no, like Pathfinder like, and not, so on. Not only was it fun, it was kind of heartwarming because it was like I felt very neighborly. I felt like we like it was. We are very fortunately at a place where we're no longer remote friends. We're now friends that I will just go watch cartoons together right. and that can, kind of thing. Can we switch to my perspective? Because like uh, in our, group, I wasn't wearing pants. Yes, that's yeah. true. I'm sorry. <laughs> In our group, I have decided to occupy a niche that I don't normally try. You know, normally I try to win at all this stuff. So instead, in our D&D lore, uh, Callie being the youngest is sort of a magical uh, kitty cat on a cloud and, and she gets soft rolls or whatever. Uh, in this case, Josie is actually going to play a non-player character. Bonnie wants to be a rogue just to deny me the pleasure of it. But but me, I'm going to be like a jolly bard and, okay. and do silly things, right? So I'm, I'm like, I'm the silly one. I'm the silly guy or whatever. Fucking Andrew shows up. And yeah. he's like, and like, what's your character? I'm a very silly character. Go on. I'm half donkey, half man. I'm a donk tar. I'm a donk tar <laughs> probably from like New Jersey. Or New York, oh, something like that. Like I got an accent. Yeah. I thought you were just doing it. No, you were actually. No, no Andrew Dice Bryan started he developing the same accent as we went on. In yeah. the middle of my bit, and yeah. so I'm like, and I'm like, oh, you're probably one of them non-union donk ties, aren't you? <laughs> I don't remember what excellent rejoinder I had, but it was really funny. So wait, so <laughs> did you start doing the bit back to him? I yeah. couldn't not. No, no, no. Bri like, Brian's whole started dialect it. started shifting to like, like oh, middle that'll happen. New Jersey. <laughs> that'll New happen. Yeah. That'll like, happen. Like all of a sudden I'm like, well, if this is what we're doing. I'm I think, do I think I got three Captain Morgan lines out before he started <laughs> yeah. doing it. So like <laughs> there are there. That'll happen. Yeah. So anyway, uh, the the campaign that we played, uh, all written by Penny and, and, and Josie, was about uh, 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 a, 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 a small town that was willing to pay 300 gold pieces if we could please remove the menace that was causing all of these images to appear on everything. And we figured out that the images are graffiti, and the graffiti was very cool, and we had to clean it, and then we encountered the two people that the were graffiti doing the artist that's right uh one of which was a dog on a skateboard with the backwards okay. hat uh, with, with the backwards hat yeah and what was the other one uh it was it was a chimera of some kind no it was a furry a furry yeah. that's correct that like that's, a human like, like a human a in a mascot suit. costume except that was their actual skin correct right. correct wait and, no that's just an animal a, well, bi a bipedal animal of undetermined bi origins. oh yeah like in robin hood yeah in the sure. animated robin yeah 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 yeah, like yeah, that. yeah 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 so I we decide to rid this scourge from this town okay. by challenging them to a dance off or a freestyle rap off or uh, an art off. Okay. We failed at all of these things. Really? I Even with two Andrew Dice Clays. <laughs> you went dual clay. Well, you do have to roll. You do have to roll. Yeah. We had bad rolls. Oh, shit. <laughs> we, we had I mean, uh, hickory uh, dickory. <laughs> Yeah. Duck. Yeah. Duck. There was definitely a moment Hickory that I Hickory dickory duck? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. What rhymes with that? I don't know. Critical fail. <laughs> uh, no. It, Andrew about... Dice play the role. Andrew Dice play the role playing experience. <laughs> Andrew 20 D Clay. <laughs> D20. So, so, <laughs> we, we go two and a half hours and we can't beat these two dumb teenagers. <laughs> and so Andrew leaves and I'm just like, yeah, 
I, in my dying breath, I take all of the things I have left. I have only three hit points left. Yeah. And, and, and I'm like, I'm going to do this. Uh, and I do a freestyle rap and it, and then I critically fail. And I'm like, you know what? Enjoy the town. You guys are yeah. the coolest. Yeah. Goodbye. This year and, sucks. And then that was <laughs> going to bed. Yeah. <laughs> and was already off to one of the best New Year's Eves of my life. Can, can I can I pause this? Now, granted, I was sad to be alone on New Year's Eve as of Thursday night. Yeah. That said, under normal circumstances, I think New Year's Eve is a a nonsensical, stupid holiday. Mm -hmm. Like if it didn't exist, if it didn't exist. Sure. Yeah. And and I it's crazy like, that you would work yourself into an emotional lather over for something, something that so I acknowledge. But like, yeah. But like seriously, if it didn't exist, and I was like, Brett. Do you want to come over to Mike's house uh, on Friday? We're going to get real shit can drunk. Just like real shit can drunk. And you're like, why? And I'm like, I'm going to flip a calendar over. <laughs> just like a page on a calendar. We're going to get real drunk and do that together. No. Does that sound like a fun thing? It'd be stupid, right? Yeah. Yeah. So so noting that, I think the best New Year's Eve, like when you want to go Wait, out to like- Wait, that's stupid? That's stupid. I would think it would be pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I, I think though, I think like- it, there's this weird thing we have in our minds of like New Year's Eve is like a ball or it's new, uh, uh, Times Square or something like that. Yeah. The fun New Year's Eves are where you're doing stuff with your friends. Those yeah. are the fun ones. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's never like when you try and be glamorous or cool, it, it's not it's not fun. It's fun when you're doing stuff like that. And the evening wasn't even over yet. Well, I, it, not for you. For me, it was because we lost. <laughs> and, uh, and, and Bonnie and I were like so exhausted. It was like, uh, I don't know, 10 o'clock or whatever. And so we're just like, you know what? You you have the town. We don't need the three hundred gold. Goodbye. And then and and there's this moment of disconnect where Penny and Josie are like, I don't I don't understand. And it was like you won. And then they were like, Yay! Hey! Best New Year's Eve ever. And then we went to bed. But meanwhile, you went over to Justin. Went place. over to Justin Robert Young's for a Mad Men themed. It was New Year's Eve, party. which I don't think I even told him the theme because I just, I just knew that motherfucker was showing up. Laser at a top hat. Yeah, that was that was yeah. yeah. I mean, if it was like the garbage man themed party, <laughs> I would have had to tell him. But uh, no, he shows up with a top hat, looking dapper as all hell, and uh, uh, we had a great time. We uh, uh, we caught. I, I I I again renew my pledge that I would very 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 much appreciate and give far more viewership to the CNN cable network if they were shit faced drunk yelling at the camera for three hundred and sixty four days a year <laughs> yeah. and then Andy try Cohen to do amazing. serious news one day a year that would be a much better channel in my opinion. Uh, but then uh, uh, yeah, well, we did karaoke. We rounded we it up with like an hour of karaoke. Nice. It was super fun. I had a blast. It was that was I that uh, I, I that's got to be top. Two or three New Year's Eves I've ever had. It was so great. as you're driving back, you, you you see the strip club on your way back. You're just like, not this year. Nope. Instead, I played Oculus 2. I played Beat Saber for about an hour. And there the population won for about an hour. <laughs> went to sleep at 4 a.m. Woke up the following day. Felt great. Nice. Awesome. Off to a great Turned nice. out it was Heaton who was dancing half naked. That's right. Yes. Uh, Bryce, what's the next topic? New Year's Eve text. So, Brian, you brought this up in our pre-show meeting about uh, how much people text on New Year's Eve or holidays in general. So you get this yeah. like Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's Eve, primarily. Well, it's, it's, it's a bit weird because texting is the new real DMing, right? Like, like it's the last thing I could think of where, hey, I'm going to give you a number and you have a direct line to my full attention yeah. at any moment. Yeah. I am feeling that eroding as of this year because so many people who I've not heard of for months and months and months are clearly going through a list of people with some kind of cut, cut and pasted New yeah. Year, brother, love you. Blah, 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 blah. And, yeah. I, and it, it, it is the first time in, in my, my 46 years on this earth that I felt like texting was an inbox. Like, i.e. something that you're going to let messages pile up on. Uh, or totally ignore. Like, okay. in other words, like, uh, I, I think most of our crowd knows how I treat inboxes. Yeah, you don't answer emails. Well, no, 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 as the great Justin Robert Young once put it, there are two flavors of responses from Brian immediately in six months from now yes you either get an email uh, immediately back or does, you does, get does that mean my happy new year's brother will get a yeah. yay 2022 <laughs> at about march from you i was gonna ask what about can i get a response to mine also i thought it yeah. was i I'm, thought mine I, was pretty I'm, nice i'm and sorry not, you're, yours was, was also, happy i, new year, I felt bad 
about yours. Also, right? like, <laughs> oh, fuck you. I, I, I want to be also on the record. You, 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 you. I, I, I write a different Christmas card for every single person I send it to. I type <laughs> it by hand. They're yeah. all completely different. All of them. I I think- you, you also do realize that this particular line of conversation is going to open up some very uncomfortable things about like moments that we've been on group texts that you've ignored. <laughs> like, like you definitely have a bit of a wandering eye when it comes to text messages. Yes. Anyway, <laughs> my thing is I, I feel like there was a, a moment in time that thankfully has passed, which was the group text on holidays. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Where you'd get the like, you know, 50 people like, right. Happy bing, New bing, bing, Year. Bing. And yeah. then all of a sudden now you're, you have opted in to this like thing where a bunch of people like, you barely care about the person that sent it to you. And now your phone keeps going off because they're responding to each other. And it's like, did we all go to college? Like, like, were you guys all in prison together? Like, how am I involved in any of this? So I'm glad that that seems to have gone gone the way of the dodo. Like, like you guys haven't gotten gigantic group text. It's not have this you? time around. Not this time. That's died. For the very first time, my phone said, hey, seems like there's a lot of chatter on this group that you're not participating in. You want me to mute this temporarily? And I was like, oh, what a great feature. And I look and it's, my daughter. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> it was a family group A text. family group text. <laughs> yeah. And that is going to be Justin and Bryce. Oh. Like, like, oh, geez, me, you. T- <laughs> uh, no, you, you guys may make the make cut. Make the cut. Make the I cut. I mean, as a group, not individually. <laughs> I'm individually. sorry. I'm sorry, Bryce. <laughs> Bryce, did I respond to you on New Year's Eve? Uh, you, uh, I don't know if it was on New Year's Eve, but you did respond. I do remember you responded. I only sent out a co- to a handful of people. Yeah. God damn it. You want to respond to him now? Yeah, I'll respond. You want me to help you workshop it? Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, here you now go. I'm checking like, mine to I'm see. It's like, who Bryce. responded to me? Bryce Castillo. Bryce Castillo. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Happy oh, New Year, Saturday. Man. Saturday. Uh, Happy uh, New Year, I hope y'all had a good New Year's Eve. Here's to a strong 2022. Think copy-pasted. No! Oh, no, uh, it's different. Oh, I think it was copy pasted. <laughs> oh. Okay, no. Uh, no, I. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Okay, I, 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 I think I nailed it. All right. Bryce, why don't you just read it? <laughs> <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> just read it out loud. <laughs> sure. Uh, from today, January 4th, 2021, uh-huh. about 7 23 p.m. Central Time. Yep. Unsubscribe. <laughs> Bryce, what's the next topic? Wait, hold on. I got a bit of New Year's trivia. Oh. Did you did you know that, that we didn't used to celebrate New Year's till the spring? That's a kind of new invention? No. About, about like maybe 600 years ago, the start of the new year happened around spring, around the equinox, which makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Doesn't it, yep. doesn't it, didn't it feel like a weird time to start a new year I when it's dead cold I stepped on Easter out? shit. Uh, well, the French for a long time made their new year Easter, which makes dating things really difficult for historians because it's a floating calendar holiday. That seems really French. And also yeah. you can't date a corpse. It's illegal to do that. You can't yeah. do what? You, you can't go out with a corpse. It's illegal. You got to leave them in, under I the I know. Ground. Even if you're yeah. Tom Petty, he co- she comes back into life at the very last <laughs> second. Yeah. Bryce, what's the next topic? Cold as ice. Oh. Yeah. Hey, Heaton. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah, that's hey, right. Uh, We're enjoying our three weeks of winter now. Oh, fuck you. He, yeah, oh, hey, I'm so sorry. You guys have to hey, drag your plants in hey. for a day so that me and the dogs can go outside without hating everyone. Hey, fuck Bryce, you. I got a riddle for you. Okay, yeah. shoot. What does the guy who's obsessed with it being cold say on the day that it finally gets cold? Wow, I sure am glad it. I was gonna, wow, I'm sure glad it is cold in here in, in, in this country, in this city that I've moved to. <laughs> what? I, what? I, I, I say, I say, it's cold in this. Cold in this what? In this country, in this in this country. In this, in this, this, so oh close. my god, so, so close! I right. told you that she comes back to life at the end of the video. <laughs> I'm sure he was excited. I'm sure you were fucking stoked, Andrew Heaton. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me recreate the, uh, uh, yeah, you'll play <laughs> Bart Brian. I'll play Andrew Heaton. Ring, 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 ring. Uh, hello, it's me, Andrew Heaton. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, oh, the- hi, I'm Brian. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. I'm too busy ignoring all my friends' texts. <laughs> I just muted my daughter. Isn't that shit hilarious? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I uh, listen. Uh, I know it's cold today, but please help me 
like, it'll be cold forever here, right? Hold on. Have you ever seen Lower Decks? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first thing he did was call me on the coldest day of the year. Yeah. The day that it dropped 60 de degrees in 39 hours. That was, that was, that was, that was, was by the way, no, no Please tell me it's yeah. like this forever. Oh, what? No, I just, like, I think I said for like two or three months. I know it's, I know it's going to get hot again. It's Texas, right? But can't, uh, my favorite times of year where I feel most myself, Let me where guess. I feel comfortable, autumn and winter. And I didn't get to have a winter until January 1st. So I was worried that I made a horrible misstep moving to Texas. Wanted to make sure that there's like at least three months where didn't I Didn't you grow up in Oklahoma? Yeah. And it's a, it's like goddamn schizophrenic weather gods trying to murder everybody. God never wanted anybody to live in Oklahoma. You know, yeah. Texas is just below Oklahoma. You yeah. understand? We, we that, all right? agree it's hot here. <laughs> the plan was and remains I'm going to live in Scotland four months during the summer, and it'll right, be kind of temperate. 27 minutes. The rest of the time. <laughs> 27 but if it's minutes hot, into the main then my plan show. doesn't work. If the summer doesn't end that he mentioned until February and then it Scotland, resumes yeah. in April. Andrew, why don't we hold on? No, I'm fucking going off on this. We're at this lunch with David McGraney of You Are Not So Smart, and uh, 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 he and his wife are thinking about moving here. Mm -hmm. We are deliberately deployed mm -hmm. to be the welcoming committee. That boy, we would want this other cool I can't touch person, both their legs. this other cool <laughs> person who does podcasts, and even then. 20 minutes into the conversation, you're like, by the way, I'm leaving. This place sucks. In my the plan, summer. My plan. Okay, that still is a time that people would be living here. I wasn't briefed on this. I was just told we were getting knocked in. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I, don't know. I, like, I, I thought this was a career thing, not a get like, a move here thing. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, shit. All right. So, uh, 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 Look, it's cold and I don't like I don't like it. I'm not down with it. And 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 I, I don't think that you need to be less happy. That's fine. You can be as happy as you want. I just want to stay here for our own show. And I don't fucking like the cold. It sucks. It's bad. It's a bad time. My lips are are cracking. I need to get chapstick, apparently. Like this is bullshit. I don't like it. I just wanted to get that out there. Yeah. Okay, no, I, I totally understand because again, this is how I feel eight to nine months a year with with hotness. So I totally get the feeling. But I mean, I'll do it once. <laughs> I won't say it all the time. If it lasted nine months a year, <laughs> well, I mean, I did live in Syracuse. Yes, I basically, did. Brian. Yes. So which one is Mister Heat Miser and which one's Mister Cold Miser? Can we? <laughs> I mean, all I know out? is. Both of them are wrong, and that you should just be happy that you're in Austin. There we go. Hey, yeah. Absolutely right. Also, you were the one who was like, like out and out. I, I, we had a very fun group chat going back and forth. Where yeah. Heaton yeah, was yeah, very, yeah. very excited and, and did everything. But I, I literally went. His... I just texted you I could go jogging outside. I think it was last night. I, just, I think I was like it, I went jogging outside. I didn't want to die. The only thing that you didn't share in the group chat was a shot of your tumescent penis with icicles <laughs> hanging off of it. <laughs> That's how excited you were about the cold. I was like, "Oh, we went to uh, we went to Costco, and I saw a gigantic commercial grade heater." And I'm like, "That fucker's coming home!" And I built a commercial grade heater on my porch. And then Brian's like, "Full prepper." <laughs> yes, you're like, correct, you're correct, like, correct. I have two generators. Fucking come at me this time. Uh, uh, I almost said Uncle Sam. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just but say Uncle Jack Sulu. Ross, yeah, uh, whatever. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. And so, 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 so one year ago, it, it got super, super cold. We had Texas's yep. hard freeze. Everybody lost power. I had to live here alone for a week. I lost my fucking mind. And Sulu from Star Trek started to make puns about how Texas should survive on gaslighting because the in turn thought that was a good idea still funny and, no no <laughs> still funny no it's only funny because i was in did pain you, did you did you lose power? my goddamn yes, mind I did. you did yes i did yeah uh uh so anyway uh i i definitely spent all day sunday testing out two 2500 watt uh dual power generators with gas and liquid uh, uh petroleum and all of that stuff so anyway look it's gonna stay cold in austin forever don't worry, it'll always be temperate in Austin forever. Whatever I have to say to both of you that'll cause both of you to stay here forever is what I'll say. Thing? 
I thought we were going to shit on Eden. The whole fucking pre show meeting was oh, no, no, no. on Eden. I, I, I totally am shitting on him. Okay. Yeah. I, I was I'm, sarcastic. Now, now, when now I that said it's it cold, I, oh. I really should be magnanimous and just oh, revel was, in your pain. I, but, I apologize. But also, what a, ba what what a baby, am I right? Thank you. <laughs> I'm fucking leaving. <laughs> no! <laughs> All right, everybody, if you would like to support this show, then please head on over to patreon.com slash great night. That is where you can uh, get on our Patreon, get our bonus episodes that come out each and every Thursday. I was thinking about this. I think that we're giving too many bonus episodes. Too many bones? Yeah, and they're too long and they're too honest. Because, okay. Well, I was thinking about how we record them in a relaxed environment. Yeah. And we tend to get more intimate yeah. and reveal more truths. Mm -hmm. I was thinking instead of what are we doing? Like, like two a month? Uh, no, we're doing four a month. Four we, bonus we shows do four a month. Four extra. So, I'm yeah. sorry. It just yeah. sounded like you said four. A five sometimes when there's like, four you know, or by the five. Counter. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking we should just like, I don't know. Not do them? Well, I mean. The one on Thursday was really funny. The one on, the one on Thursday where we, you had seen The Mandalorian. Oh, and, then we, and then we <laughs> talked about whether or not how many shows would be funnier if you cast Joe Exotic from that one viral video. Okay. Uh, All right. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 a little bit of go, a preview. But... <laughs> I'm just saying, go get let, it. Go let me, get let it. me just say that most Eisley would be a more interesting place if yeah. the new leaders said... <laughs> I am a bounty hunter. <laughs> I am gay. <laughs> and I am I the new. Up. <laughs> I am the new job of the hut. Uh, uh, you know no. what? You've convinced me. Uh, We're totally gonna keep worth doing it. it. Everybody should join Patreon. Patreon.com slash great night. You get four extra episodes and honest stuff. Like secret stuff that we would never confess to while we're on video. Basically. Also, uh, guys, uh, we have been doing this show now for, I mean, a couple months. We're coming up on on the year in April. Uh, uh, that actually, no, longer than that because we had ghosted that for a while. Months. So, yeah, uh, yeah we have, we've been doing it for for long enough that I feel like we have a handle on the show. We feel that we have a handle on the show, and so uh, what we want you guys to do is go ahead and take a survey. So uh, we can continue to build and refine and, and do something that uh, feels really, really special. So I want you to go uh, to bit.ly slash great night survey. It's very quick, very quick. I mean, it, it can't take more than, than uh, uh, five minutes. And, Question and really, one, really are us. you a bounty hunter? <laughs> Step two. Question two, yeah. are you the new mayor of Mo Sisley? <laughs> Question three, Carol. Yeah. What's your opinion? Oh, my! It, it goes in a lot of different <laughs> places, that bit. Anyway, go get on the Patreon. Thank you with the, the survey. Bryce, we got a game. Uh, yes, we do have a game. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to uh, the middle of the show, which is what this is. It's time for us to do one of our favorite games of all time. Say it with me. Apologize for! for! I'm sorry. Hello, I'd everybody. Like, I'd like, like, I am, I am now fully convinced that the worst thing anybody can do ever online is apologize for anything. Like, like, like at most you could say, who boy that ha <laughs> ha like, yeah. like, like Delta should have said that the disease. Yes. And the airline and the airline, and the airline. about, about each other. Gotcha. That gets somebody else to do. You it. could write a, no, you could write a paragraph about uh, how much you regret going on stage with Dave Chappelle and posting a picture with him. Like Oswald. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pause on everything. Uh, it, that actually is a pretty good example because like you can't have a conversation with an angry mob. Right. And, 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 and Patton Oswalt is a sharp guy who has nuanced feelings. And essentially what he wanted to say is I love this person and I respect him. I disagree with him on this thing. Yeah. How do you think the internet took that? I mean, he didn't even say that initially. I mean, I guess, like, I, I, are you saying that they, they, they took his apology as yet another offense? Correct. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, look it up. We don't need to go into it. Uh, Bryce. Okay. Hello. Uh, uh, around the world, people have been apologizing for things, and uh, uh, we're going to play a little game based on that. I'm going to give you a headline that was reported on the internet, and I'm going to have um, one or multiple words blanked out, and you're going to each tell me what you think the blanks are. Whoever's closest, as determined by science, 
will uh, will win. And uh, do we have something for our losers today, Brett? Uh, yes, I do. I'd like to thank uh, Kyle Ooh. Wells. We've, oh, thank you, Kyle. we've had so many episodes without a punishment. Yeah. Well, I'd like to thank Kyle Wells for uh, bringing sending this suggestion thank in. You, Kyle. Jomo, maybe I can get your uh, uh, help on this just a little bit. Uh, the loser of this will have to do a 30 second interpretive dance <laughs> done by whatever interesting music you would like to put up. Okay. Tough, but fair. Thanks. All right. Well, there we go. Thank you guys you. don't know is I went to Juilliard <laughs> agricultural <laughs> college. <laughs> Good to go. All right. Well, let's do our first headline here. And uh, Justin, we'll start with you. Yep. As our guesser, uh, this is our first headline on Apologize For. Oh. It's from our friends over at CNN. Tristan our Tristan Thomas apologizes to Khloe Kardashian after blank, blank, blank. Our BFF Tristan the fact, CNN. The fact that the fact that you didn't get the name right, and I know the correct pronunciation of the name tristan uh, tristan not, tristan thompson yeah did, did i not say thompson uh no i think it was it was it was the first t-dog uh, so uh, all right so wait oh, say it again say it again so i can get it tri tri triple threat tri uh, tristan thompson apologizes to chloe kardashian after blank 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 uh uh so wait do we all go you're all gonna get... go and whoever's closest uh to the correct answer will get a point as determined by science oh uh 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 Mm, be, uh, what, uh, what DNA kind of... test reveal. He, DNA test reveal. He says, "Yeah, all right. paternity test reveal." Let me go with paternity. That's test. her boyfriend. This Tristan character. Uh, we Trist do have... Tristan is a is he an actor, a... an influencer. What is he? Well, actually, no. You don't know shit. I'm not going to tell you anything. I, we, <laughs> yeah, we, I know. Chloe <laughs> Kardashian sells makeup. We do have a little bit of information here. Thompson said on his Instagram stories, "Chloe, you don't deserve this. You don't deserve the heartache and humiliation I have caused you. You don't deserve the way I have treated you over the years. My actions certainly have not lined up with the way I view you." Uh, we're going to Brian on this mm -hmm. one. Tristan Thompson apologizes to Khloe Kardashian after blank, blank, blank. Yeah. Winning that award. Wow. Big. He Did the Booker Prize this year? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the award is the Nobel Peace Prize, but uh, there are only three bank blanks. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Uh -uh. yeah that checks out. That tracks. Yes. No, Peace Prize is one word. Oh, is it? Yeah, it is. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Winning. Right. They that did it. They did it. Peace yeah. prize. They, 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 Yo. They, they did it for trademark purposes. It's German? Yeah. Peace yeah. prize. Peace, Peace prize. prize. Peace prize. Peace prize. Yeah. yeah. A hyphen in there. Yeah. Uh, Tristan Thompson apologizes to Khloe Kardashian after blank, blank, blank. Andrew, we're going to you. Writing. I'm, I'm going to go cheating on her or oh. cheating on you, whatever the grammar is in this, but cheating on her, cheating on pronoun. I see. <laughs> okay, that's that's yeah, I get to go. All right, so our answers are Justin has said because I what was his name Tristan Thompson. Tristan Thompson Thompson I banged him so I think <laughs> yeah like based on my personal if they're at a, if they're not in an open relationship he should be apologizing Dick don't lie he's like, he's like I remember it it was sixty seven it was I was kind of sad I was over at the horny toad it was on Wednesday yeah and uh, yeah all right uh, our answers are Justin said test a paternity test reveal. Uh, Brian says, winning that award, uh, it's the subtext is the Nobel Peace Prize. Peace Prize. Peace Prize. Peace Prize. Peace Prize. And, or, or the Peace Prize. Or the Peace Prize, doesn't I'm matter. I'm going to claim both. <laughs> and Andrew said, checking, uh, cheating on her. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, Justin, your answer of paternity test reveal is... You win. Co ah, closest. I'm wow. um, pretty much correct. Yep. We were looking for uh, Tristan Thompson apologizes to Khloe Kardashian after fathering another child. Yeah. All these thoughts on Christian Mingle are almost what got Tristan single. So, wow. That's, cl that's clever. That's, a, that's, that's a literal lyric from a Kanye West song. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. If you don't ball like him or Kobe, I guarantee she's going to leave. That's another lyric from a Kanye West song. For clarification, yeah. was he the father? I, I assume he was the father, she, but yeah, not was, with, was she the mother? Right. He had no. another child yeah. while they were together and with was, another and woman. It was, was denied. How it. much better would the story be <laughs> if he apologized for being the father of oh of, 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 her, of child. her child of her own yeah. child? Well, uh, <laughs> it wasn't much better, man. He was out on his Instagram uh, saying to the mother, like, 
Hey, I'm about to quit basketball. So you're going to like be getting child support for an, from an unemployed person. <laughs> So you better take this 75,000 that I've offered you to just go away forever publicly up on his Instagram. And then the, inst- wow. and then the paternity suit comes back and he's like, we got it wrong. <laughs> Turns out I'm going to be a part of this child's life. Oh, Whoops. wow. Oh, wow. There we go. Yeah. Uh, so that's a Justin point. That's pretty much uh, almost exactly right. Congrats, Justin. Brian, we're going to start with you on this one. Ready uh, on this round of apologizes for feeling it. Wait, can I get partial credit? Because it sounds like he did cheat on her. No, nope. uh, no, you get second no, place. No, no, yeah. Okay. All right. No, 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 no. Uh, no only no, 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 no second no, no, no. place in horse shoots and hand grenades. Interpretive dancing. Horse, horse, horse shoots and hand grenades. Horse, horse shoots and hand hand grenades and hand grenadine. Yes. All right. This is from our friends over at Syracuse.com, and uh, Brian, you're going to be guessing first. Ready. On this one. The headline reads, no contest, colon. Falcons RB apologizes for egregious blank blank take i'll give it to you one more time no contest colon falcons rb running back apologizes for egregious blank blank take nipple twisting nipple twisting take yeah uh there we go uh andrew uh no contest falcons running back apologizes for egregious blank blank take take t-a-k-e sloppy spit take a sloppy you know when you go like yeah, but you you do it like you get too much. That's what I think. So you think he was in like a vaudevillian yes. uh, comedy duo? <laughs> yeah. I think he was he was sitting across from his good friend Tristan Thompson, <laughs> yeah. and he went and shit two lines, and he went like that. And and what he should have done is spat straight down yep. so that comedically yeah. the effect was carried, but without putting. Uh, aerosols on his friend exactly but he like did, did a yes. sloppy spit day well I guess. yeah he, he he didn't rehearse it and uh, so and so that's what he was apologizing actually what, for. what he yeah. should have done is do the exact same sloppy spit take but into an n95 mask listen to <laughs> uh, because I there's just, a disease out i, I don't know COVID. if y'all have heard about show, it we believe in science. covid on this show we believe in science <laughs> listen to the experts Alrighty, so uh, Andrew said sloppy spit take. Yeah, Justin, no contest. Falcons running back apologizes for egregious blank blank take. Um, uh, 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 angry racial. Ah, an angry racial take. Yeah, took a race. <laughs> you can, you can do it. Mm. What? Mm. You want me to do an angry mm. racial take? No, I was. Do you want to do an angry racial take? If I have to choose between doing an angry racial take and a sloppy spit take, I think you know which I'll choose, right? Yeah, you want to spit on my face. (laughs) So how about (laughs) we do neither? Neither uh, is the way to go. My thoughts on the Welsh are well known. (laughs) Yes. Uh, Okay, here here we go. Great people. Straight people. Uh, So your answers are, Brian has said nipple twisting take. Yep. Uh, Andrew has said a sloppy spit take. Yep. Yep. And Justin has said an angry racial take. Yes. Uh, by the way, real quick, can we all agree? All equally valid? No need to check science? No, I think we do need to check I think, science. I think we specifically need I to check science. Need, I think the point song. of the game Fortunately. is to check science. I mean, that's, that's a... Otherwise, that's, I win. No, no, I should know. Fine, yeah. Let's, a, let's make them ties for the rest a, of the game. Well, I mean, for get, this one. Get ready to dance. <laughs> sloppy nipple take okay all right go. i'm gonna put this uh into my science machine i won't it's another script here uh i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna put it in my science machine beep 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 oh my goodness hey look at that all right Oh, that's the script. Uh, it looks like Andrew got the point. Hey. Andrew with sloppy what? spit. What? <laughs> the, I did? The answer, uh, the headline we had was uh, no contest. Falcons running back apologizes for egregious chicken wings take. Admits Buffalo has the best wings I done ever had. And you know you love a sloppy wing. That's an Andrew point. Okay. Yep. I'll take that. Yep. That sounds like what I did. All right. Thanks, Bryce. All right. Moving on. I kind of feel like there's an angry racial element to this. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. There we go. All right. Uh, round three, Andrew, we're going to start with you on this one. Okay. DLNR news release. This is all in all caps. Woman apologizes for blank blank video at Lake Waiau. W-A-I-A-U. 
Woman apologizes for blank blank video at Lake Wyow. Uh, for overly clothed video. What my theory, this is my theory. My theory is this is one of those spring break tapes at Lake Wyow and she's wearing too much clothing and and the expectations have, have not been met. So there's overly clothed. Like like one of them full body condoms from Naked Gun? Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, like that. Only like made out of like, like, I don't know. Wool. Kevlar? Ke yeah, <laughs> Kevlar and wool. Just yes. All right, there we go. Overly clothed, Justin. Uh, DLNR news release. Imagine like a young I mean, color. Work. It must work. This might work and, too. And a head to toe Kevlar and a Kevlar suit, just screaming, "Shoot me! Shoot me, you fucking cowards!" <laughs> All right, Justin, we're looking for you here. News release: Woman apologizes for blank blank video at Lake Wyo. Uh, butt chug. It's a butt chug <laughs> video. <laughs> Right, we're gonna, we're now, gonna why be, would she be in oh, trouble for that one? Oh, 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 oh. Let's break down. I what mean, look, did this. So, all right. First, you call your girlfriends and you're like, bestie, what do you want to do this weekend? <laughs> what up, Stacy? Uh, what do you say we go down to what lake? Uh, lake Wyow. Lake, lake Wyow? Yeah, why not? It's too boring. Well, I've got something that'll spice it up. Spice what up? Our butts when we chug these hard lemonades. <laughs> oh my god, are you suggesting that we go to Lake Wyow and butt chug lemonades? What's more, we have videos to never forget it. We'll be young forever. No consequences. <laughs> Let me call Candace. Candace. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, let me take off my Kevlar wool condom body thing. What's up? Do you want to go to Lake Wyow? Only if we're going to get drunk without using our mouths. <laughs> well, there's only two ways I know how to do that. Yep. One involves painful eye surgery. The uh -huh. other is to butt chug hard lemonade. I'll go get my butt bellows and, and hard lemonade. You're That's a thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> but jugging <laughs> rules will keep God's hole hey, sacred. Hey, hey, hey. We'll never apologize. Never <laughs> apologize. <laughs> Pat Oswald's a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Bye, fellas. Uh, so. Justin says, butt chug. All right. Yeah. Brian, uh, that should have given you a little bit of thinking time here. A uh, woman <laughs> apologizes for blank, blank video at Lake Wyow. Yeah, because clearly I was thinking <laughs> during, during Wait, that. can you, is butt chugging real? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How, how would it like, do you get on a table and like, like are you relying on gravity? Cause yeah. It, okay. Like a, a fun, so, so. Uh, do you uh, have to fart to let it come in? I assume you've both done this one a lot. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I assume it's just like also, an animal. why can't you just wait <laughs> six and a half minutes like a normal person for the alcohol to hit through your socket? Well, no, wait. No, no. So I, I would assume it's much like, like, a, like a beer funnel or something like that. Yeah. But you just tube it up your and, butt. And it's right. just for the novelty. What's the benefit? Oh, well, you would instantly get wasted because that's soft tissue. Right. Because, right. again, six minutes is far too long yeah. to last on a spring break. Okay. Yeah. And this is, this is done. Time is money. Right. Well, yeah, but, but also, like. You guys are not accounting for, like, what if you don't like the taste of alcohol? That's a good point, yeah. Right, you don't point. have to yeah. taste nothing. No, yeah, yeah, yeah you got a yeah. Diet Dr. Pepper and uh, a full-on buzz. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're you're having hot coffee. Exactly. I mean, look, uh, uh, try to fucking arrest me for or DUI now, all, copper. Ultimately, let, let's well, say I mean, you, you bought would... too many funnels, and you're like, what are we going to do with these funnels? I don't know, but I know this much. I don't like Mike's Hard Lemonade. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brian, what's your answer? Uh, My... Uh, what was the question? <laughs> the headline is one more time. Uh, news release woman apologizes for blank blank video at Lake Wyow. Newswoman. <laughs> what? You said newswoman? News release. Call it. News release. Woman apologizes for blank yeah, blank full video release. at Lake Wyow. Full release. <laughs> It's, yeah. it, it's, it's DLNR news release, uh, the, the Department of Land and Natural Resources. Uh, Jerk boys okay. for full release. Uh, it's it's at a lake and it's two words, right? Uh, uh, and yes. there's a video of it. Lake um, lake video at Lake Wyow. Uh, 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 animal teasing. Animal teasing. Now what's, uh, what does that look like? That sounds legit. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't. You think... suck, fish. <laughs> so I, I you're used a to, fucking piece of shit. I used you to work fish. At the, uh, fuck you, beaver. I used to work at the Oklahoma City Zoo as my first job. 
And somebody was telling me that had been there for a while. There used to be this guy. This is before they fixed up the ape exhibit, which is now very nice. But back when it was basically an ape jail, this guy would come every every day at lunch, and he'd just eat a banana in front of the gorilla to taunt it. And one day, the, the gorilla just fucking clocked him, just cold cocked him and took the banana. And I say, good job, gorilla. Yep. Bryce, what's the answer? <laughs> <laughs> okay, your answers are, uh, uh, Justin said, butt chug. Brian said, animal teasing. Andrew said, Overly clothed. What we were looking for was a DLNR news release. Woman apologizes for rock throwing video at Lake Wyow. Rock wow. throwing video. Uh, rock throwing. What's what's wrong with what did Dwayne do? Uh, Lake Lake <laughs> Lake Wyow is a a protective uh, native Hawaiian uh, lake that I, I believe is culturally significant. Um, they have signs that are like, don't swim, don't litter. Um, oh, it's like a sacred lake? It's, yeah. Like you can't throw a rock at it? There's nothing on the sign that says don't, don't throw know. rocks. But they don't know. You, what if it's a sacred rock? That would be doubly worse, it seems like. Oh. Yeah. You want to use a profane You'd get rock. two curses. Yeah. Right. Wow. I and I think. hate to be science right about now. <laughs> well, I, I don't oh, think. Oh, I think it's easy. I think. Yeah. I think yeah. because of the nature. I mean, I can. Yeah, sh yeah, yeah. Sh uh, yeah, it was pretty quick. Brian gets the point with animal teeth. Hey. Yeah, that's all. You. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's all you. Okay. All right. So, so we're all tied. Yes. We're all, uh, we're well, let's check in with our score, Brett. Game. How is our score looking this after three been, rounds? This has been an exciting uh, 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 game. So. I, I, I literally just wished for a rock to throw at you. What? <laughs> Dude, Don't tease been, the animal. Be funny. This has been an exciting. Uh, All I'm saying is uh, I'm, I've been really into it. Hit refresh. Uh, Justin, <laughs> you got one. Keaton, you got one. Thank you, Brad. Brian. You got one. Hey, yeah, I got three, and they could play D and D, and that makes three. Now roll for I don't know initiative. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready to go. win. I got a few more I'm here. In it to win it. I ain't gonna interpretive dance. Interpretive dance is for weirdos whose names are Andrew and Justin, and love or hate the cold. <laughs> kind of a broad net. All right. Yeah. Uh, we've got one here, Justin. We're gonna start with you. Yeah. Andy Cohen apologizes for poking fun at blank blank on New Year's Eve. Quote, I was overserved. Oh, uh, uh, we were there. We, 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 were, we watching were watching this live. We were yeah. watching it. It was hilarious. It was uh, awesome. Okay. Uh, in, in fact, Bryce, if you can just pull up this clip for, for after, after it's revealed, but uh, he went. Yeah, because I saw it too. And since all three of us saw it, I feel like he went we hard on Bill de Blasio. Your answer is going to be Bill de Blasio. Yes. All right. Uh, uh, Brian, what do you think? I would like to see the clip. Mm -mm. Uh, I don't have a clip, but I do have some information here from Andy's apology show on uh, from his apology on his Sirius XM show. Quote, the only thing I regret saying, the only thing is that I slammed the broadcast and I really like blank and he's a great guy. And I really regret saying that I was just stupid drunk and feeling it. Brian Anderson Cooper. All right. Brian's going to say Anderson Dick Dick Coop? Clark. <laughs> this is the game. Anderson you have to Dick Clark Cooper. <laughs> I'm gonna need one. I'm gonna need you to pick one, champ. <laughs> two, two words. Uh, apologize for poking fun at blank blank on New Year's Eve. Bill Cosby. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna cross all of those out and write Bill Cosby. <laughs> Andrew Heaton. Uh, if you if you want to take five, we can put five second. Get one, five, four, three. Yeah. All right. And Heaton. Uh, Andrew Heat. Andrew Thanks. Cohen apologizes for poking fun at blank blank on New Year's Eve. Uh, okay. And so Bill De Blasio is already taken. Correct. Okay, and you said Bill Cosby? Yeah. Okay, so I think that the options here are either, because I think it's probably Bill de Blasio, but that's mm. already taken here. <laughs> so I'm going to say Anderson Cooper. Justin said Bill de Blasio. Brian? I think I fucked up. <laughs> I don't think Bill it's Bill. right now. <laughs> and you know what? I'm beginning to think that maybe I fucked I up. Think, <laughs> no, I think you got it. I think you got it. <laughs> Yeah, I think he says all gonna, the time that Bill Cosby's a great guy. I think, yeah, you're going to Cosby your way into this. <laughs> all right, this is from our friends over at, um, I, I don't even know what website this is, uh, mewww.com. Uh, Andy Cohen apologizes for poking fun at Ryan Seacrest on oh, New Year's I Eve. I even read that stupid story. Damn it. And because Bill de Blasio, or no, be, yeah, because Bill de Blasio was also on his list of targets, Justin's going to get the point. Oh! <laughs> 
that that man was uh oh he was on me. one i like that is now a career goal to be that drunk yes. on live that's, television that's a real flex to get that that drunk hey, can, can, can you can you pull the clip the up of him of him too well, they're always drunk. A- Anderson except might he, have he had is, like a drink or two, but Anderson with like Anderson remembers what he said the following you, day. You, Cohen did not. Well, I think, and I've watched. I'm a veteran of watching these broadcasts. Anderson Cooper is a quiet, giggly drunk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like he is. Like he gets a little bit reserved, and he might say something a little, a little weird, a little naughty every once in a while. Andy Cohen is a lad. What the fuck did you say? Like kind of drunk, Uh-oh. and it and it comes out here. This clip was fucking amazing. Group of losers <laughs> that are performing behind us. I mean, with all two, if you've been watching ABC tonight, you've seen nothing. I'm sorry. Oh, oh my God. God. Let's go to Don. And- oh, that, so that was that was the Ryan Seacrest one, yeah. Uh, and so, so that one he apologized for because it was a fellow media person. But, but he ripped Bill de Blasio, oh, the, I, the outgoing, yeah. the he outgoing very much mayor. Did not like Bill de Blasio, which was a highlight of him. A tree lap dance <laughs> after four years <laughs> of the crappiest term as the mayor of New York. Wow! The That's only thing that the Democrats and Republicans can That's agree on I mean, is what a horrible <laughs> mayor he has been. <laughs> so. Sayonara, sucker. Wow. 2022. It's a new year. <laughs> Wait, here, guess hold on. what? I have a feeling I'm going to be standing right here next year. And you know what I'm going to be looking at? Dancing? As the city comes apart. <laughs> oh, wow. Holy so good. cow. Because I love it. He is like just unhinged ranting super drunk slurring his words and he's like and i'm gonna be back next year <laughs> which because he pushed out kathy griffin, kathy griffin for that yeah, job a few years like, ago because of her trump thing yeah. Uh, oh, yeah i'll tell you what he's worth every penny that shit rules it is the best thing that cnn does yeah. yearly yeah all right we got a couple more here uh we're gonna start with brian on this one here's Ready. your headline uh former blank blank Apologizes for disrespectful TikTok video. Uh, videos. Former blank blank apologizes for disrespectful mm. TikTok videos. I former do have, blank blank. Former blank blank. I do have a little bit of info here. Everyone's for you. doing the blank yep. blank. This is from the Battleboro Reformer. Putnam told the reformer he staged the videos for an idea that he thought at the time was funny. He also said there were no actual dead people in the videos. <laughs> oh. Jesus. A former blank blank apologizes for, quote, disrespectful TikTok videos. Logan Paul. Former Logan Paul. Yeah, no, he's no longer <laughs> no, going he's one, of the, he one of the, one of the, he's, he's, he's done with it. Now he's L Paul. And it's, dis- is it like, is it like, like the doctor? Like he just like regenerates and uh, there's old uh, Logan you know, Pauls and new Logan name. Pauls. Now, yeah, he's now, now he's Timothy Paul. Now he's Timothy Oliphant. Yes. Okay, there we go. Brian says Logan Paul, uh, Andrew. This former. is former. <laughs> no, that's former part of blank blank. Former le, former Logan Paul, uh, uh, Andrew. Former blank blank apologizes for disrespectful TikTok videos. Would you, would you read the quote again? Sorry. Uh, sure. Uh, Putnam told the reformer that he staged the videos for an idea that he thought at the time was funny. He also said there were no actual dead people in the videos. Former oh, blank blank apologizes for disrespectful TikTok. Don't videos. help him. Undertaking prankster. Oh, that's how you wait. That. He's a yeah. former under. So now he's something else. Yeah, now he okay. used to be an undertaking prankster. Now he's doing very <laughs> solemn and serious videos that I, involve. I think, I think Brian's. I'm going to say wacky undertaker. Yeah, he's former wacky, wacky undertaker. undertaker. Wacky undertaker. All right, wacky undertaker. Justin. I mean, number one, they're saying that coven flops is not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I waited for a long need I waited for a long time for a yeah. uh, hit on corn cop TV. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to say grave digger. Ah, grave digger. Former grave digger makes like videos. The car that took on Bigfoot. Mostly the car that took on, yeah, yeah. El Toro Loco yeah. Uh, in the uh, uh, Monster Jam. Yeah. Uh, yeah, make that specific. <laughs> Grave digger, the monster truck, not the profession. Okay, okay there we go. All yeah. right. Uh, your answers are in. Brian has said Logan Paul. Andrew said wacky undertaker. 
Justin has said, Grave Digger, the, <laughs> mon- the, the monster truck. First of all, before you reveal the answer, I feel like we're all in the same neighborhood right here. Well, as soon as the dead bodies come out, you know, yeah. you're, you're trying to think of former things that, although it might be weird, it might be like state senator or something. <laughs> yeah. Can I change my Perfect. former state no. senator Logan Paul? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right. Uh, the, the headline is in. Former... Body transporter apologizes for disrespectful Ooh. TikTok videos. That's an Andrew point up and Wacky down. The Undertaker yeah. was an Undertaker. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. I uh, guess nice. an Undertaker handles the bodies. A great. Is, yeah, is a body it. transporter different different than an Undertaker? Uh, I think they are. Sounds like it's more specific. I think there's a lot of overlap. I don't think there's the a, body transporter had a streak at WrestleMania, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, you know of. There, I believe there's overlap. Um, quote In the videos, you will see where Putnam is using your company's Dodge Caravan to transport what appears to be a body and making jokes that the individual had died of a heroin indi- overdose while playing with the deceased's toes. Oh. Uh, he has another that video that sh- does sound hilarious, though. <laughs> <laughs> he has another video showing him transporting another body through a McDonald's drive through and asking if the deceased would like something to eat, which I think is a funny bit, actually. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It so, wasn't, like it wasn't really stuff. a dead body, though, right? Oh, uh, no, he, he, no, he, he said, he said real the bodies, the bodies weren't that was real. The yeah. Claim yeah. as part of the apology. Oh, shit. Which I think is code Why for... did fucking Patton Oswald go hang out with him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing it's empty coffins. Flops. Yeah. And they're flopping and they're flopping. I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got two more. Uh, we're going to. That's <laughs> it. Cut the, pull the plug. Uh, Andrew, we're going to start with you on this one. Okay. The headline. You mean the board leader, Andrew? Is that what you're talking about? Uh, tied for lead, and indeed. Oh, shoot. Okay. All right. The headline is BBC apologizes for blank, blank interview after Ghislaine Maxwell verdict. BBC uh, apologizes for blank, blank interview after Ghislaine Maxwell verdict. Ghislaine Maxwell? Yeah. <laughs> for, for blank, blank interview after the Ghislaine Maxwell verdict. Are we saying that right? I, Just lame. I believe so. Jizz Lane. Jizz yeah, Lane. Just lame. Like, yeah. I believe he pronounced the S as what Mike Jizz or as, uh, what Jomo was saying. Jizzy Lane is in my. So, so can, can you give it one, one more time? Absolutely. <laughs> BBC apologizes for interview after Jizz Lane Maxwell verdict. <laughs> I mean, I mean wait, fuck wait, her, whatever. Wait, 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 Bryce okay. said it. Uh, yeah, okay. What? You know. Whatever. Uh, I, I had Prince, to read I'm going to say Prince Andrew. You're going to say Prince Andrew. Oh, oh right. yeah, of course, because he's involved. Yeah. Uh, just every time I talk to him, he's so worried, and he's a great guy. Yeah? He's, I, I, he's been set up. Mm. <laughs> BBC apologizes That's for- That's on the internet. For blank, blank interview after Ghislaine Maxwell verdict. Underage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, under age. Just go find random 14. Just years. like, and they're like, I don't know. Like, well, would you do it? Prince Andrew. Wait, you're, you're also going to say Prince gonna, Andrew? You're going to go double double Dutch on I'm that? i say he's right, and if I get no points, I'll know I'm right in my heart. This is another Andrew Dice Clay thing, isn't it? Sorry. You're just, okay. you're just copying, no, uh, copying what he's doing. <laughs> Prince Lame Drew. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what a jerk off motion. Yeah. Wouldn't it be amazing to show that he if really the BBC did. presenter was like, and up next, Prince Lame Drew. <laughs> and then, like, Bryce has to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, the Hitherbottoms are coming over for dinner. Oh my That's God. Be a gift. I would love, as <laughs> much as I love drunk CNN, boy, would I love drunk BBC. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> drunk BBC would be the fucking best. Drunk Lame Drew, what a toss up. <laughs> All right. Uh, our answers are in. Andrew has said Prince Andrew. Justin has said underage. Brian has said Prince Lame Drew. Lame Drew with a jerk off motion. With a jerk off motion. Excuse me. Let me... It's in parentheticals. It doesn't count as a word. I see. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, here's the headline. This is from our friends over at the New York Post. BBC <laughs> apologizes for Alan Dershowitz interview after oh. Ghislaine Maxwell verdict. I think. I think that's, that's the Prince Andrew joint. Yeah, I think that's close enough. Or underage. I, I mean, it seems to me like it's mean, not actually Prince Andrew. Seems uh, to me like seems to me like he's who, implicated because he but they are right as, but he is Eskimo Brothers with Prince Andrew. So. With, <laughs> uh, which was done via underage girls. Uh 
No, that's a that's Andrew's point. Uh, <laughs> yes. Andrew's point. All right. That's Andrew's point. Yes. All right. It is our last round. Brett, what's the score? The score is Justin two, Brian one, Heaton three. Three points. I, I will never dance again. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's time for our four point round. Four points. It's still anybody's game. That's right. All right. We're going to start here with Brian. So Heaton can't lose. Oh. Heaton can't dance, right? But All I could he, dance he and can do. I with... could dance and you can dance. That's right. Yeah. Depending. That's okay. right. Depending. Um, uh, yeah. So this is for four points. We're actually going to start with Andrew because he's in the lead. Andrew, your headline is Citroen apologizes for commercial. Some said was blank blank. Citroen, S-I-T-R-O-E-N, apologizes for commercial. Some say was blank blank. That's the French car company? Uh, correct. Overly clothed. Overly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, overly clothed. We'll see how that fares. Justin, uh, Citroen apologizes for commercial some said was blank blank. Racially insensitive. Damn it. Racially insensitive. All right. What race were they insensitive to? Uh, the, the American Grand Prix. <laughs> okay, great. The two American Grand Prix, Grands Prix is how you say that. All right, and uh, Brian, <laughs> Citroen apologizes for commercial. Some said was blank blank. <laughs> Too French. <laughs> Fucking red. <laughs> this is going to be a very difficult round. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm real curious. Some to see people how you move the say that, man. Brett that fucking Citroen commercial totally right. In fact, play the commercial. It's yeah. the only way to know if it was racially insensitive, yeah. totally red, red or, or overly, overly clothed. clothed. Anyway, now to our interview with Alan Dershowitz. <laughs> uh, let's let's play a little bit of the of just of a, a little bit of the ad. Why don't we? Why don't oh, we? Actually, oh, let's go! Why Come don't. on, somebody do an accent. <laughs> she is very clothed. Uh-huh. <laughs> So he is a major Egyptian superstar singer. Okay. And this is a feature on the... F- oh, Jesus. On the car. <laughs> With a car, you Wait, can take photos. That's, that's, it's like half of the commercial. But Wait, you, is, it, it's, it's, is it for a car or a phone? It's for a car. It's for a car that has a dash cam built in that you can oh. use to also just take pictures of things. You can take photos of the scene <laughs> around you, including this... So- be- Quote, now, beautiful moment shit, of a woman. Man, I might dance. <laughs> overly clothed. <laughs> that guy was offended she was overly clothed. <laughs> so uh, uh, the headline we were looking for was... Citrone apologizes for commercial. Some said was sexual harassment. Sexual harassment. And I think... <laughs> in The opposite. I mean, that's a sliding right. scale with France, right? Like, like what, what, a, what, a, a another Hate normal to country. Be science, right about but if now. you were going to put it in a category of things offended by clothes and yeah. sex and things like that, you right. know, but if we're going to also battle. factor in the racial element, yeah. like, mm. I don't think anybody was mad about that. I think, I, really think I mean, I it think that's a very that. cisgendered white person <laughs> thing to say. I think I'm going to have to drop this into the answer hole to really decide this one. Um, so, Justin, I've taken your answer of okay. uh, in, racially insensitive, yeah. parentheses, <laughs> to the American Grand Prix. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to drop it into the answer hole right now. Shooting my guns in a celebration. Oh, you better duck. Real quick, just just for my own understanding. Yes. Uh, imagine you were giving the apology for how racially insensitive this yes. ad that we just watched was. Okay. Please explain why you are apologizing. As a spokesman for <laughs> Sinatron, Sinatron, I no, would like too, to too apologize uh, of, on behalf of everybody who made that ad. It was so seethingly racist. <laughs> <laughs> just, just stem to stern, me, boiling with the 
vile <laughs> hatred of racism Sir. built up centuries. Uh, Brian Brush with BBC Three here. Yes. Uh, 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 could you explain exactly why it was racist? Well, if you have to ask, you can't <laughs> afford it. <laughs> <laughs> racist. <laughs> He's in a racist car, racist <laughs> man, looks at a woman, says, oh, I'm thinking about you race first. I'm going to race to my racial judgments about you in a car, car racing. I'm of a race. You're of a race. I got feelings about that. It's all in the subtext. <laughs> Sir, Fry Brushwood, BBC Two here. Go ahead. <laughs> um, <laughs> he, I think he got promoted. It yeah, seems like job. there's a lot you've said yeah. that... That isn't in the ad. It's pretty clear, man. All right, we can walk through it. Okay. Man in a car. Yes. What race is he? <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. I'm Prince Andrew, BBC <laughs> One. Yeah. Why don't you have a French accent? Um, <laughs> if you Citroen, as you say. Well, because uh, uh, I don't know if you're aware, but they're going through a real big racial scandal right now. So oh. they're very short handed. <laughs> I got hired on Fiverr. Uh, <laughs> So anyway, uh, obviously, guy, what race is he? Keep that in your mind. Okay. It's going to get revealed. It's a big reveal at the end. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, he's in a car. What color was the car? It was. It oh, was yeah. Keep that in your mind. Blue gray. Okay. Uh, there's a woman in a dress. What color is her dress? I swear to God, if there's an envelope at the end <laughs> of this All right. Hold on. Hold on. And then she uh, 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 looks at him. Right. But is one eye showing or is two eyes showing? Two eyes. Okay. So you've said that he has a race that he's in. Well, what race was he? Uh, Excuse me, Alan Dershowitz, <laughs> BBC One. Yeah. Why is the two eyes a relevant factor for this? Uh, 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 please, you've never seen a confab confabulation uh, reveal before. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, so what was his race? Uh, he was Egyptian. And what color was the car? <laughs> uh Blue gray. And what color was her dress? White. And she was looking at him with how many eyes in the frame? <laughs> Two. <laughs> He's just real. He, he, he had it right too. Brian got all the questions exactly right. He got he got us again, people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry. White dress. Now back to Eastenders. <laughs> <laughs> the whole setup apologizer. <laughs> all right, and with a score of. The six points, Justin is our winner! Yay! 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 Good job, Yay! I'm going undefeated this year, baby. Undefeated. And, uh, Brett, uh, who was our loser of the game? Well, I was hoping it would be Heaton, uh -huh. just because I'm a mean bastard. Yeah. But it's our good, good friend, Brian. Yeah. All right. Everybody and by that. loser, you mean winner, winner with the fewest points. Okay. You are the winner Which is what to we're going to call it from dance, now on. Uh, uh, Jomo, can you, uh, can you come on up here? Actually, Heaton, he, uh, ro rotate over. Um, oh, dear. Yeah, come on. Uh, Jomo, uh, we've missed you so terribly through, through the back part of uh, uh, 2021, a cursed Jom year. Jom Jomo, I want you to know that I fought actively against your return to the show. Oh, well, that's fine. Uh, that's I thought. Fine. I got friends with, with uh, other connections and stuff, so that's fine. Okay. Yeah. I, I kind of factored that in. When I, I know you're better off. connected than me yeah. in this show. <laughs> uh, that's where this is headed. But before we actually go ahead and uh, 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 have some, some great songs and some fun and mysterious news to go over, uh, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and pay this off here. Brian, are you ready for your interpretive dance? Yeah. Real quick, what is an interpretive dance? So what you're gonna do is interpret. Yeah. Uh, 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 what is uh, like 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 I'm fucking leave. trying to kinesthetically tell the story of what you of went through music. emotionally okay. uh, during this game. So the highs, the lows, oh. everything in between. You are you are interpreting that the game. Yeah, your emotions during there the just game happens to be music. There happens to be music. Yeah. Okay. I so, so sure. you are you are interpreting that now. Meanwhile, because obviously this is for many many people in audio podcast, I'm going to course, be doing the the the, 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 the description. visually impaired yeah. descriptions. Yeah, yeah. Audio descriptions. Audio descriptions. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> okay. So we we start at the beginning of the game. Start at the beginning of the game. Okay, here we go. Here we okay. Go. 
Uh, please don't violate TOS. Brian comes suspiciously close to violating TOS by slowly unbuttoning the top three buttons on his shirt. He points at his shelf and rubs his uh, back of his head as he looks like there's a cool breeze going through his hair. Now he looks a little uh, uh, like he's trying to, to woo somebody. He's moving his hips and slowly parting his shirt. Wait, he sees something amiss. Looks side to side, points to other people. Now he's scared. Now he's off put. He, 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 he's, he's trying to put it out of his head. He's buttoning his shirt. He's stepping up to the microphone. He's pointing. He feels like he's won. He looks cocky about it. <laughs> like a real dick. I mean, I'm talking a chode and a half the way this man smirks. He's uh, playing with his buttons again like he's a big shot. <laughs> uh, uh, but now he looks to the side. Still kind of cocky. He looks to the other side and looks betrayed. He says, no, 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 as he goes down to two knees and he pulls his shirt, but covers his nipples so as to not violate TOS. He now loses his glasses, probably on purpose, but we don't know. He's crying on one knee. He knows that everything is over. All the chodeness is drained from him. He's no longer an uh, arrogant piece of shit. Now he's buttoning his buttons as if in shame. He knows that awful things have gone on and he's not... Oh. Or is it all a performance? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, I don't really like art. <laughs> It's hard. I have no. It's harder than I expected. I don't really like art. <laughs> art sucks shit. Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, uh, Jomo. Yeah, how's it going? What's up, man? Yo, just hanging out, man. Just at uh, just hanging out, having holidays. Yeah, holiday times, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 just well, do it. we want to? Do we want to talk about the mysterious news first, or do we want to play a song? I kind of want to at least dance around. I, I want to see Jomo as... <laughs> was good. You literally <laughs> just danced around. You're yeah, the I only guess. one who did. You know what? You're right. I'm done, I guess. Uh, <laughs> uh, look, uh, all I know is that the Possum Posse Twitter account, uh, uh, I was on Twitter yesterday, and, and the Possum Posse Twitter account had a very mysterious tweet that we're just going to play here as a video uh, 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 and and uh, I I just want to get your your your, your perspective here on I, it. I I I I'm not certain I've seen this, so I I would love to see it. Uh, did you tell Bryce in advance uh, this was happening? Uh, no, the, normally what we do is just <laughs> yell things and then fill. Uh, uh, yeah, we got it. All right, all right, here we go. <laughs> So the, 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 self-explanatory. Yeah, thought, the yeah. visuals are uh, uh, with what's that smell must be coming from over there is a man with a scraggly beard, kind of uh, smell, awesome, kind of long smell, hair, doing that smell that smell thing. You know? Yeah. I think he, he's like, why do you? I don't know why he's doing that. Actually, I think that's the no, get the that, wind yeah, that's the wind. Thing, the wind. Why, is he, yeah. why is he following a smell with his finger? I don't know. It says coming on uh, January tenth, twenty twenty two. So now, that is six days from today. Yeah. And now, it looks like. He is he is on some kind of fried Thing. treat. Yeah. Well, it, well it, it looks like a buffalo, like I, a lot like a buffalo, except it looks like it was deep fried. Right. And I noticed that the very last part says hashtag guy on a buffalo wing. Yeah, it's kind of gross. He's he's sitting on that. It's kind of wet. Did you notice that? Kinda, I mean, you would. That's that shit. Fucking I'll, takes a while to get out of your jeans. Yeah, you, if you if you yeah. put some buffalo sauce, I, and I put some sting. buffalo sauce on uh, my it's jeans, thing too. It's We've gonna sting. Yeah, I, I I was mainly noticing that 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 it had the words "guy on a buffalo" in there. Yeah, and it yeah. was tweeted from the Possum Posse right, and account. Right, from us. Yeah, and also that was, a, yeah. audio. Uh, just let, let me let me take a little listen again. My guy, forensic it's very ears. Wet, right? See, yeah, no, I know, I know how certain people say the word smell. 
Yeah. 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 Like yeah. That. Wait, yeah. hold on, hold on. No, 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 because you guys were both saying it. Yeah. Brian, can you say smell? Sure. Smell. All right, now, Jomo, you say it. Smell. Yeah, I still can't tell. Can you We're guys do it one more time? How about we harmonize? Harmonize. Two, Smell. <laughs> Fuck, I'm going to have to wait until the 10th. Uh, oh, uh, damn, I'm going to have to figure this out. Yeah, God, it could it be like, either uh, of you. Uh, it could seems be either big. Of us. Yeah. Seems like we should all retweet this with oh, wildly probably. outrageous theories uh, about what this is. Let, let's, let's just say uh, we are all going to make sure that we indulge in that hashtag and we are going to make any social media manager uh, be very excited that the kind of traction is happening. You know what? Let's say really <laughs> nice things associated with yep. whatever that hashtag is. No Let's not jokes. just say mean things. Or no just mean keep... things. Yeah. No mean I no said mean things. Just sometimes people get you know what? I, you confused. Know, I, I, I was sort of, um, I, I can't say too much about it, but I can say I was sort of prepared for some like, some heat. You know what I mean? Not just, you know. Oh, the, people, people the, being like, just like sauce. spiciness? The, yeah. A little, a little, <laughs> little, a little, a little, a little, little vinegar. You little, know, yeah, like exactly. A little yeah. cayenne, yeah. I was prepared for a little heat, and I still am. And yeah. I might get a little heat, and I don't know. You for for people heat. being like, you for being like, what's this? What the fuck? What is this? You know, it's that that kind of thing. You know how you trolls, never do to try to buffalo too. Like, trolls are always saying things like, "What is this?" And, yeah. and simply that. And Show just your it work. That nice. Yeah. Exactly. Where's the math? Yeah. Exactly. Whatever happened to uh, science? Yeah. Darren won. Yeah, I get trolled a lot. You know. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I prepared. The witch referenced. <laughs> Just for the, just for the homies. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So, uh, hashtag guy on a buffalo wing is a hashtag that everybody should yes. follow and and have positive things to wonder about. And yeah, also, sure. Uh, uh, I'm sure that there will be more things on the Possum Posse Twitter account on the 10th. I'm not uh, sure of that I don't at know. all. Maybe. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, you never it, know. Yeah, yeah, you never, you never, you never know. know. Uh, but uh, you will certainly know uh, if you follow us on Discord. We will we will make sure that everything is out there. But uh, who knows? Ah. Who knows? Ah. Uh, Jomo, you got a song for us? Yeah, I just wrote I've been this longing one. to say that. I wait. wrote this one while y'all were doing your green room thing, and quite so literally, it could like, be like, like I walked out and he said, "Hey, is it okay if I sit out green room because I'm writing a song right now?" And okay. I was like, okay, yes, it's okay. Oh, you also, this is also no bullshit. Uh, uh, unlike all the dancing that we've just done for the last <laughs> 10 minutes. But uh, uh, you came to the pre-show meeting and you're like, yeah, I tried to write a song. Didn't work. Maybe I'll write one today. <laughs> so so you, you've you actually written the song. Well, yeah, I had, I had kind of an idea and I didn't have time until, until I got here. Yeah. And cause I got little kids and stuff and yeah. I had family in town and all this stuff. And, so I, I yeah, uh, and I thought it was rude if I was to go over there and practice it. So I've never, I haven't played sure. it before. Good. So I hope you'll, you'll, uh, I won't apologize. This is perfect. You That's the way we are with our joke telling, yeah. our interpretive dances, yeah, sure. our improv, our bewitch it would references. Be, it would be rude bewitch. to yeah. practice them in Fuck advance. Them. Yeah. yeah, we don't yeah. like totally. that shit. Totally. Okay. Well, That's in why. the meantime. <laughs> 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 What's that smell? What's that smell? Well, man? it's Jomo of the Possum Posse! <laughs> well, it's a new year, babe. Bryce, am I dead? Okay, sometimes my guitar is dead, and uh, Bryce hops up and says, Well, it's a new year, babe, but it kind of feels like the old one. Yeah, at this pace, babe. I can tell it's going to be a slow one. Halloween was all right, but Christmas was scary. I thought maybe I'd feel better by January, but it's a new year, baby. 
kind of feels like the old one. I got a new hardback. Bio, gonna dive in deep. Do a little reading, but I find out that my idol sort of a sexual creep. Happy New Year, baby. <laughs> sort of feels like the old one. I'm gonna take a fresh start. Cause the old one was a downer But someone left my fresh start out It's spoiled on the counter Oh, happy new year, baby But it kind of feels like the old one Yeah, at this pace, baby, I'm I can tell it will be a slow one Halloween was fine Christmas was scary I thought maybe I'd feel better by January But it's a new year, baby And it feels kind of like the old one All my troubles they're self-induced Yeah That's when it hit me I turned over A new leaf And a centipede bit me Oh It's a new year but it feels like the old one Yeah, it feels like the old one Sort of feels like the old one Oh, yeah. the Joe Boom! Bill de Blasio just called Yeah he said it was a great song. He wants his act he back. Wants- <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Jomo, what was the uh, favorite uh, gift that you either gave or, or, or oh, got this uh, this holiday season? I got from my sister a uh, an axe throwing situation. She gave me a couple axes. Okay. Three small one ply metal hawks. Are y'all familiar with axe throwing and no. the axe throwing Does game? Does it come with the Renaissance Fair or do you have to throw that yourself? You got to do it all the way around. You got to do it all, all yourself. Around, all okay, got yeah. you. It comes, it comes with these three, like, one-ply metal, smaller, what they call hawks, I okay. guess, like tomahawks, that are just little metal, like, five, just for fun. Just, yeah. And just then, for fun. Yeah, just I for mean, fun. Yeah, then it comes with a big a old, big-ass throwing axe. And then this thing. That's you, for when you're very serious. For when you get axe. good. Yeah. For when you get good. Yeah. You know? yeah. And then you mark, and it has a little thing to nail in and mark a, your own target on a piece of plywood or something. And then... You know, it's just off to the off to the woods for me. You know, I'm just gonna. <laughs> yeah, that's where I'll be the rest of the winter. Just tossing them axes, so, just working wait, my game. Wait, yeah. When you say off to the woods, do you mean you just grabbed the axes and vanished, and then Hell and then yeah. you know scared the neighbors? Oh yeah. Well, no, I haven't done it yet. I'm just. <laughs> okay. These are my plans. Yeah. These are my plans. I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of deep woods it for a while and come back with some just skills and stuff that people don't expect. You know, I, I think this is the first time that I've actually spent. Uh, a New Year's Eve here in Austin, and what I noticed was that a lot of people, and I think this is really, really irresponsible. They they fire their guns in the air oh, yeah. for New Year's Eve. Uh, is that a so, thing? They so, do that here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start being responsible based on that. I'm just gonna start throwing my axes in the air. Oh, you yeah. know, because I think that's a way more responsible way I mean, that, to celebrate. That, that's and ring part of the, the reason. Remember, Austin had that whole campaign. Like, if you shoot your gun in the air, the bullets are gonna land in Austin. But if you shoot them 45 degrees, you'll hit Bastrop or Lano. I remember and, that campaign, and, that PSA campaign. Right? That was, yeah, yeah, it was weird. It was, it was uh, Lano have yeah. it. They yeah. ate people. It was Miss Pig- <laughs> it was Miss Piggy. It was Miss Piggy They're and all no. replicants. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, they, they they ain't got souls. Uh, fire it sideways. Yeah, I remember that. That was a weird campaign. Yeah, that was but a weird it, one. It, it, it does it does help. You know, it helps with the murders. <laughs> it's a good. It's like a thing to remember yeah you know, yeah, teach yeah the kids 
No, I, I, I it's especially I, weird because <laughs> why? I love it when the joke's so funny, you can't even make it up. <laughs> it was specifically <laughs> targeted to banditos coming in Austin. So they had road signs that warned people as they come into yeah. Austin, like as you raid the banks of Austin, make sure to shoot your gun. Sideways. 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 So, so the so bullets we had... don't land in Austin. <laughs> exactly. Ryan yes. Brushwood apologizes for racially motivated <laughs> bandito joke. Uh uh, Jomo, what's uh, what's our next song here? Uh, I'm gonna play a song uh, called "Nailed It." Nailed it. That's what it's called. Perfect. Yeah. Let's go, Jomo. Well, let's hope you do very well. Or nail it. I'm gonna put my harmonica holder up here, and then rejoin the song. Down at the bank last week, they asked me for her birthday. And I've been married, going on 15 years. But the fact that I'm not quite sure makes me wonder, wonder, wonder why she's still here. She looked at me, she raised up an eyebrow. Like, come on, buddy, let's see you try. I look back hoping maybe she just answered first for me, but but she didn't even bad an eye. And I said July 19. And I nailed it right on the head. Impaled it. That's what I said. I, I signed it, sealed it, mailed it. She made a mountain of a molehill. And I scaled it. Follow after me, boys, if you want to know how y'all ought to be. Because I nailed it. Oh, man, I nailed it. I went over to Lake Charles just last weekend, yeah. With a buddy of mine who likes to play roulette. I've never gambled a day in my life before, but when he asked me if I knew how, I said, you bet. They gave me one little chip for all the money I brought with me. Oh no, I dropped it. I tried to snatch it back. But the dealer waved my hand away, said, too late, son. Turns out I put my whole life savings all down on black. And I nailed it right on the head, impaled it. That's what I said. I, I signed it, sealed it, mailed it. Got in hot water, then I straight up sailed it. Follow after me, boys, if you want to know how y'all ought to be. Because I nailed it. Oh, man, I nailed it. Yeah. Well, on Tuesday, I went rock climbing. It's pretty neat. This big old mountain with the ocean way down below. Has anybody ever tried jumping off of these cliffs before? I said, yeah, but the answer is probably no. Do you really think you can make it on the way out to the water? I said, yeah, I was a jock in high school. Now I'm only just slightly older. I got a running start, got some pretty good air. They all said, oh, Lord, look out for that rock. Good God, he's going to hit that boulder. And I nailed it right on my head. I failed it. Now I'm dead. I submit it and I dealt it. I was blowing smoke and I'm the one who inhaled it. Follow after me, y'all. And you want to know how not to be because I nailed it. Oh, man, I nailed it. Yeah, well, I was looking for a place to mouth off in. I wound up in a coffin. Then I nailed it. Oh, man, I nailed it. Oh, thank you. Holy shit. Well, uh, uh, 
Uh, I have a feeling that uh, you're going to have a, a, a hell of a week uh, uh, coming up here, and we're, we're, we're looking forward to everything. Why, why, well, I just got a feeling, man. You why? know, I just saw that Spider-Man movie. I got a spider sense. Oh, you got a spider sense. Oh, that movie yeah. about Spider-Man looking at his own butthole. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one. That was it. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah that yeah. was it. Yeah. All right. The highest grossing movie of the year <laughs> right. being nominated for Best Picture. Yeah. The Spider-Man movie where he looks at his own butthole in a mirror. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, well, I, that's cool. Maybe two mirrors. I don't know if you. I mean, it's I kind think, of a portal. Can you do it in one? Two. You can be done with one. Can you, I'm it's sure. Just like, yeah. oh my god, that's me over if, there. If you have somebody helping you, probably. But like you need another Spider Man <laughs> to help you well, look. Maybe at a your series own. of webs to hold it into a position. If you, you know? had the webs, yeah. If you had the webs, yeah. That's, well, yeah. Yeah. So well, thanks for organic. having me. So great yeah. to have you back, yeah. uh, ladies and gentlemen, Jomo. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I, 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 I don't know what our call to action is. Uh, 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 no call to action. God damn it! There's no call to action. The Everybody, call, calm the, down. The call Would to you action calm down? is: let's just wait until the tenth. <laughs> I don't like. And that. maybe find out what's happening on the tenth. Uh, uh, Brian, what have we learned? We've learned. Now we say to Brett, Brett, what have we learned? Oh, it's been a we've learned quite a few things a this evening. One, we've night. learned that Piers Anthony Not once took a kid in who ran away from home. Oh, uh, we've learned that Heaton and Brian <laughs> play a mean, mean game of D and D. Yeah. Justin is Mr. Heat Miser. He's Mr. Warm. <laughs> Bryce has better dimples than me. And now I am really pieces. hungry for chicken wings. <laughs> uh, most importantly, we learned that we lo love you guys. Shine on, you crazy diamonds. It's been a great night. For the first time in 2022. <laughs> <laughs> I covered those nipples. I was really happy. Keep them nips covered. When you know the very theatrical. Like, 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 I love no, 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 no. I, I love that you and I love, And I love your nips. That, like, so, yeah. yeah. They were great. You got great nips, dog. <laughs> night. You me alive. Nips, Sometimes you just gotta tell a bro he's got great nips, man. <laughs> me survive. Body positivity all year. No, 2022. Tell your brother he's got great nips. We're sisters. Night. Okay, man. Well, let's well, hold on. Get now we're getting left tonight. This never mind. I'm saying go. I apologize for saying you should tell your sister she has great nips. Woo! Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>